school like any other high school was big on sports. Not just any sports. My high school was very especially proud of our football team. This meant that most of the school's money went towards benefiting the football team and the cheerleaders. This totally sucked for the rest of us. Being involved in play production, I had to get used to buying or making my own costumes and using old, beat-up wigs and props from 10 years ago. Um, we, but we made the best of what we had. Uh, we weren't the only group that struggled. I took art classes where I had to use beat-up paintbrushes and media classes where we had to use out-of-date equipment. I also had friends in the band and orchestra who who had to, who were stuck with beat up instruments. With all the budget cuts, it got even worse. By my 12th grade year, uh, the band and orchestra teacher was let go, and so was my media teacher. The art classes stuck around, but still suffered with the same problems. My play production teacher, Miss Sasha, was the only reason theater stuck around. She knew people, outside people, that donated their time and money to help put on a show. I actually helped her find the handyman to help build the sets. Shay's stepdad, Shay, and I still go back to my old high school to help build the sets every year. But just recently, Miss Thrasher informed me that she's thinking about reti retiring. With Miss Thrasher gone, my old school will only have choir and art classes to choose from, leaving the students with very minimal options for electives. Um, I never understood why whenever there was a money issue, the first things to go are the arts. Whether it's visual or performing arts, um, to, or visual or performing arts, the arts are an essential part of education. Today I'm going to tell you how these types of classes benefit students and why they should not be let go. They benefit students in, in, uh, tremendously. Some of the benefits include they give students elective options. If a lot of students aren't very athletic, so they would rather be in a classroom painting a picture because they're better at that than running around on a football field. Um, they might come to find out that they're, they're actually really good at what they do, painting, singing, dancing, any of the arts. Um, another good benefit is that they need good grades to participate in extracurricular activities. When I was in play production, I had to maintain a 2.0 in order to perform um, during the shows. This applied to all of the cast members, as well as myself, and all of them worked hard in all of their classes to in order to perform these shows. Another benefit is that it prepares them for the future. Rod Daniel, writer of Journal of Secondary Gifted Education, found that in recent years, researchers have asserted that education in the arts develops the problem-solving and critical thinking skills that are 